In other news, the Chinese court has sentenced a Canadian man to death for drug smuggling, a move likely to aggravate already sour tensions between Beijing and Ottawa. The Dalian Intermediate People's Court on Monday said Robert Lloyd Schellenberg's initial sentence of 15 years in prison was too lenient. The court was hearing a retrial after Schellenberg appealed last year's ruling. Monday's decision by the court prompted an angry response from Canada's Prime Minister. It is of extreme concern to us as a government, as it should be to all our international friends and allies, that China has chosen to begin to uh, arbitrarily apply uh, death penalty in cases uh, uh, facing, uh, as in this case, uh, facing a Canadian. Ties between the two nations have deteriorated after the arrest of a Huawei executive in Canada last month. China, for its part, has since detained two Canadian nationals, accusing them of endangering national security. Beijing, though, has denied it is using its legal system to take hostages as bargaining chips in the Huawei case.